Dear beloved congregation, as we gather in the warmth of God's embrace, our hearts united in faith and anticipation, we embark on a sacred exploration, an exploration of the divine signs that grace our lives, reminding us of God's ever-present help. In the tapestry of our existence, God often communicates with us through subtle yet profound signs, offering guidance, comfort, and assurance. Today, let us delve into the rich tapestry of our experiences, seeking to recognize and understand the signs of God's loving intervention in our lives. Hebrews 13 2, NIV. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. God often sends messengers into our lives, sometimes in the form of strangers. Being open to divine encounters and showing kindness to those we meet can be an avenue through which God extends His assistance. Angels may walk among us, and by recognizing the divine potential in every interaction, we open ourselves to unexpected blessings. Philippians 4 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When facing challenges, God provides a peace that goes beyond human comprehension. If you find yourself experiencing an unexplainable peace in the midst of turmoil, it could be a sign of God's comforting presence. This inner calm serves as a reassurance that God is actively involved in guiding and sustaining you. Revelation 3.8 I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. God often guides us through opportunities that align with his plan. If doors open seamlessly or others close, it may be a sign of God's direction. By remaining faithful and discerning his leading, we position ourselves to walk through the doors that God has graciously opened for us. Philippians 4:19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. God is the ultimate provider, and his provision extends beyond the natural. If you witness unexpected blessings, resources, or solutions that seem beyond explanation, it may be a sign of God's supernatural provision. Acknowledge his abundance and trust that he meets your needs in ways that surpass human understanding. Matthew 7 7-8 Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. As you earnestly pray, pay attention to confirmations that align with your prayers. God communicates with us in various ways, and answers to your prayers may come through scripture, wise counsel, or circumstances. When you sense alignment between your requests and external signs, it could be a confirmation of God's response. John 16 13. But when He, the Spirit of Truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on His own, He will speak only what He hears, and He will tell you what is yet to come. The Holy Spirit serves as our divine guide, providing inner conviction and guidance. If you sense a strong conviction or leading that aligns with God's word, it may be a sign that the Holy Spirit is actively working in your life. Trust the inner nudges and promptings as manifestations of God's guidance. Romans 12 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. If you observe positive changes and growth in your character, attitudes, and perspectives, it could be a sign of God's transformative work in your life. God shapes us to align with His will, and the process of sanctification often involves gradual but noticeable changes that reflect His love and guidance. Romans 15 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Even in challenging circumstances, if you find a persistent hope and trust in God's faithfulness, it's a sign of His sustaining presence. God infuses us with hope that goes beyond worldly circumstances, providing joy and peace that emanate from the power of the Holy Spirit. Ecclesiastes 3 1. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. When events fall into place with perfect timing, it may be a sign of God's divine alignment. Recognize the orchestration of circumstances that align with His plan. Trust that God's timing is impeccable, and when things unfold seamlessly, it reflects His guidance in every season of your life. Colossians 3:12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. If you find yourself expressing increased empathy and compassion, it could be a sign of God's work within you. Reflecting God's heart involves embodying qualities such as compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Recognize these characteristics as evidence of God's transformative presence. Psalm 32 8. 
I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. God often communicates with us through intuition aligned with His will. If you sense a strong inner prompting that corresponds with godly principles, it may be a sign of God's personal counsel. Trust your spiritual intuition as a valuable aspect of God's guidance in your life. Colossians 3:14. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. When relationships in your life reflect unity, love, and harmony, it's a sign of God's unifying presence. God's love binds hearts together in perfect unity. Acknowledge the peace and coherence in your relationships as a manifestation of God's grace and guidance. Proverbs 3 11 12. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father the son he delights in. If you are sensitive to correction and open to God's discipline, it demonstrates a heart that seeks growth. God's correction is a sign of his loving guidance. Embrace his correction with humility, recognizing it as evidence of his deep love and desire for your spiritual maturity. Psalm 119 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. An increasing hunger for God's word and a growing understanding of scripture are signs of God's transformative work. When you find joy and illumination in the study of his word, it indicates a deepening connection with God and a desire to walk in his light. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. A renewed sense of purpose and clarity about God's plans for your life is a sign of his guidance. As you align your purpose with his, trust that God unfolds a future filled with hope. Recognize the unfolding of divine purpose as a testimony to his involvement in your journey. 1 Thessalonians 5 16-18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give, thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. When gratitude becomes a pervasive attitude, it signals an awareness of God's blessings. An attitude of continual thanksgiving reflects a heart aligned with God's will. Cultivate gratitude as a spiritual discipline, acknowledging God's goodness in all circumstances. James 1 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. If you find yourself receiving supernatural wisdom in decision-making and discernment, it's a sign of God's guidance. Seek His wisdom through prayer, knowing that God generously imparts wisdom to those who ask. Trust the insights and discernment that align with His truth. Galatians 5 22-23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. As the fruit of the Spirit becomes evident in your life, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, it signifies God's transformative presence. Allow these virtues to flourish, recognizing them as evidence of God's ongoing work in your heart. Isaiah 55 8-9 For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. When unexpected opportunities present themselves, consider them as potential signs of God's intervention. God's ways are beyond our comprehension, and He may open doors that we couldn't have anticipated. Embrace these opportunities with discernment, recognizing God's hand at work. Philippians 4 6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Experiencing a profound sense of inner peace, especially in the midst of challenges, is a sign of God's comforting presence. When your heart is guarded by the peace that surpasses understanding, it reflects your trust in God's sovereignty and His assurance that He is with you. Psalm 119 105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. If specific Bible verses consistently come to your attention, it might be a sign of God guiding you through His word. Pay attention to scriptures that resonate with your circumstances, as they serve as a lamp illuminating your path. God speaks to us through his timeless word. James 5 15 to 16. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, the Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Experiencing miraculous healing, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually, can be a sign of God's intervention. The power of prayer, coupled with faith, has the potential to bring about healing. 
acknowledge the healing as a manifestation of God's compassion and mercy. Philippians 4 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. When you witness God's provision in unexpected and supernatural ways, it serves as a sign of his abundant care. Whether it's financial, emotional, or relational, trust that God meets your needs according to his glorious riches. Recognize these provisions as evidence of his attentive love. James 1 2 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Experiencing unexplained joy and resilience in the face of adversity is a sign of God's transformative power. As you find joy amidst trials, it reflects your trust in God's refining work. Allow this joy to strengthen your faith and serve as a testimony to God's sustaining grace. 1 Peter 1 6-7 in all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. If your faith is strengthened and refined through trials, it is a sign of God's purposeful work. Trials serve as a means to prove the genuineness of your faith, demonstrating its greater worth than gold. Allow your strength and faith to bring praise, glory, and honor to Christ. Romans 8 16. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. A persistent inner conviction that you are a child of God, accompanied by the witness of the Holy Spirit, is a sign of God's indwelling presence. Trust the assurance that comes from the Spirit's testimony, affirming your identity as a beloved child of God. Ephesians 4 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. When you find the capacity to love and forgive beyond human capability, it reflects the transformative work of God. His love and forgiveness become channels through which you extend kindness and compassion to others. Recognize these qualities as signs of God's transformative grace. Dear seekers of God's signs, may you continue to discern His multifaceted ways of guiding and assisting you. The signs mentioned here reflect the richness of His involvement in your life. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit empower you to recognize and respond to the signs of God's help. Amen.